seconds. Stop recording. Three Hi seconds. Hi guys, this is the Alley Show. Sorry for that little um, amount of recording that there was nothing. Today I wanted to do a review for you guys on these. These are the Hobby Lobby value pack of 48 um let me stop rocking so you guys can actually see them but let me see if i can angle the phone down a little bit better so it can see or so you guys can see it a little better there we go there we go we got you guys angled down so now you can look at it here if you guys can see it but anyway, let's just open you guys, open it up and show you guys what it looks like. So the, it comes in a hard case. Now I have several gripes about this case. Um, I have a pencil case right here that I'm going to be transferring the pens into because I just don't like this hard case. Um, oops, I dropped a highlighter, you guys. Oopsies. But anyways. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and start opening the case up. And I'm gonna take it out, take them out, grab a piece of paper, swatch them for you guys, and show you, well not necessarily swatch them. I'll do a video where they're swatched, okay? But look, if you guys can see here, if you guys can see that right there, these little snaps, that's how you open it. So once it's open, it pops out like that. And then there's what a layer of it looks like. Now these are not how they originally came in the packaging, okay? I originally took these out before and then just mixed them up, placing them back in here, okay? Here is what some of them look like just in the hand. Again, they are the Paper Studio Great Value Pack from Hobby Lobby. Um, and this is their pack of 48 pens. So, um, there's neons, glitters. Here's what one pen looks like just solitarily on its own. But there's neons, there's glitters, there's, um, metallics and pastel pens in this pack uh, the pens i have no gripes about them the thing that i have gripes about and there's a lot of gripes is the case okay so here are the 24 i have out of the packaging thus far so you guys can get a small look at them okay I'll show you guys a pen from another little layer here in a moment, but they're just really, um, yeah, they're a really good quality pen. I like them. So let's just go into another layer. So again, there's more latches here. You just. You just, I'm trying to get it where you guys can see. That's why I keep touching. Ouch. You just pop your latch here and here and it pops. Oops, I accidentally did the bottom one here. But, and then this little box closes up. Um, so the box with no pens and it looks just like this. But these are the pens on this next layer, okay? If you guys can see that all right. I don't know what you guys are able to see or are not, but I'm trying here. I want to get these out of here as quickly as I possibly can because I do not like this case. I, I'll tell you guys why here in a moment that I don't like it, but I just don't like this case. So, my mom tried to suggest me, and I did for a hot minute, to keep them into the, the little case that they come in. This little hard packaging stuff. But I just discovered more and more day by day as I tried five to minutes. use it. 
the Texas Rangers. Stop recording the five minutes, five seconds. I just discovered more and more day by day how little I liked this packaging. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put all these pens up and then I'll give you guys a close up angle all but one. I'm going to show you guys the tip size and everything on them. 48 pens. That's a pretty good amount of pens, guys. That's a large amount of pens. So here's a tip on one of them. I want to try to be careful because I don't want to mark up my phone. But on the same token, I want you guys to see. It's a very small, very fine tip. The pens, my only real gripe about them, okay, is that they feel like they skimped a lot on the quality. Um, th there's no sharp edges or anything, but this barrel of these pens, um, it feels like I could, if I put a lot of effort into it, like I could snap this in my hand. Um, but Bic Intensity Fine Liners has the same issue, so, and that's a high-end brand, so... Um, so here's a look at the bottom of the same pen. If you guys can see that. You're probably thinking like, Alyssa, write with it. Show us. Well, I don't have paper out currently and I don't want to drag this video out to be three hours long. So if I can, I will pop a... Um, a secondary clip up here with me drawing with them and all that. <clears throat> the pens themselves, I rate them a 5 out of 5 stars. 10 out of 10. You know what I mean. The case. Let's get into why I hate this case. Okay, one. I don't like that layered concept. If they would have just given me this concept, yes, but made the snaps more secure. Cause this snap right here feels like over time, cause I draw a lot. Over time with me opening and shutting these latches a lot, these are gonna break off on me. Um, same thing with, um, let me just show you guys with the top one. Okay, these hinges. These hinges are very loose. Can you see that? They're very loose hinges. Okay. I just, I don't feel like, and another thing, after only a few times of taking my pens in and out, you see these little grooves right here? These little trays, things that the pens snap into, you see that? These are breaking. These have started to break on me already. Some of my pens aren't seating in the slots properly anymore. So, I, it's not a very quality built case. Um, yes, it's a hard plastic, but listen to this. I squeezed that and it did that. Well, if you just go to the store and, and buy a simple pencil box, it's got flexibility, yes, but the latch is nice and secure and it doesn't feel like it's gonna break apart on you. This feels like it could break apart on me. Now, I, I like the idea of, to some extent, of the layered concept in this case, but to another extent, I don't. Because if you're a child, Okay, if you're an artist like me and you carry a backpack with your art supplies in it, okay, you don't, you can't fit something this bulky in your bag. Now, the, look at my pouch here. This is bulky, yes, but it, it can still be, like, it still has flexibility, okay? Like, even though, despite the fact that it's bulky, it still has some flexibility to it. It still has some wiggle room to it. Okay, that, the boxes have no wiggle room to them. None. So, I just don't like that packaging. I don't like that case. 
But as far as the pens themselves go, you guys, I love them. I use them a lot. Um, and I, ju I just, I don't know why, what made me want them, but I just wanted them. I snagged them, and I don't regret, regret, really. I don't regret buying them for a second because of how, you know, good they've done for me. Now, I just love them. The colors are nice and vibrant. The glitters are glittery. The metallics have that metallic little sheen to them. They they write smoothly. I have found no issues so far with skipping. Um but again, I'm sorry that I can't get out a piece of paper and try one out for you guys. Um, because my paper is right here and I'm working with limited room, so I can't exactly unpack a sheet of paper. 11 minutes, 13 um, seconds. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here because my video is already 11 minutes long and I don't want to make a two hour long video. Um, if you want a good highlighter recommendation, just let me know down in the comments below and I will post a video about the highlighters that I recommend. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to pan you guys back up so you can see my face. Just know, um, excuse what I'm wearing and excuse my hair because I, it's just a lazy day at home for me and so, oh no, 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 no. Don't twist off my phone. Um, but as I was saying, it's just a lazy day at home for me. So excuse the the um, crazy hair and excuse the PJs. There's a nice close-up look of what I look like. So where'd my little Bluetooth remote go? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, you guys. Where did it go? I can't find my Yubi's Eyes remote. There it is. So, again... Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please click like, share, comment, and sub sub blah, 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 subscribe. And um, here's another look at the case to the pens in case you guys want to uh, purchase them for yourselves. Here it is flipped another way. I paid $12.99 for them. Ouch. Don't do what I did. Don't hit yourself in the face with the, the pens case. Um, it's just, I like the pens, but the case is just meh, yuck. Um, but here's another look at it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please click like, share, comment, and subscribe. And bye-bye for now. Mwah.